How's it going everyone? Texas Man here. I hope that you guys are all having a great day. If you guys would please give this video a thumbs up. If you guys do enjoy it, subscribe of course. If you guys have not already, also do me the biggest favor of all. Make sure you guys hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. You guys can also find me on Twitch at Douglas447. I stream there at least once a week whether it's Battlefield, Halo, Destiny, Call of Duty, or anything else you guys, guys suggest for me to stream over there. And as always, if you guys have any movies, shows, or games you guys want me to cover here on the channel, please let me know in the comments down below. We need to talk about something. Something that I have been recently seeing a problem of. And <clears throat> so recently, I went and saw Star Wars The Phantom Menace for its 25th anniversary. And then immediately after that, so in one day I kind of did a double feature with my family. So immediately after watching Star Wars The Phantom Menace for its 25th anniversary, I went and saw The Fall Guy. Um, my review of Fall Guy is already out. Check it out. And I will be doing a review of Star Wars Phantom Menace later on. But I wanted to talk about the fact that when I was watching, or when I was preparing to watch both films, you know, they got the previews of trailers. For both movies, they played like six, seven trailers of upcoming films coming out for, you know, this big blockbuster summer season. I literally have a list, guys. And I tried to condense it down to films, film franchises and whatnot that people have heard about, hopefully. Um, there are, like, over 100 movies coming out here in 2024. But I wanted to talk about the fact that 2024 does not have a lot of original films. Nothing really with an original concept. And even if it is an original concept for a film, it's part of an established IP. So we're getting a lot of movies, specifically movies, it's what I want to focus on. We're getting a lot of films in 2024 that are either prequels, sequels, reboots, Nothing original. I'm going to go down a list. These are films that have either come out already in 2024 or they are supposed to be releasing in 2024. Now, some of these films may get pushed to 2025 or 2026. Um, we've been seeing that happen a lot recently with some TV shows because they haven't even started filming yet. Um, but most of these movies are done and they have a set date here in 2024. But I wanted to talk about this list, and I wanted you guys to think about something when you watch trailers, when you go to the films, when you go to the theaters and whatnot, of the fact that their originality is dead. Everything has to be part of an established IP in order to make money. And what's really terrible is films like The Fall Guy, and for all of its flaws, I know I bashed that movie kind of and gave it a six. We need original films that can have the same spread of word of mouth and love and budget and polish when it comes to characters and plots and locations and etc. Like, The Fall Guy could have been an easy 8 or a 9 if it just wasn't so focused on other things. Like, that's one of the biggest criticisms I had with The Fall Guy is it really didn't give me any reason to care about characters. And characters is what makes you remember... A film or a show. Lost. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm looking. I'm pointing at my posters on the wall. Lost. I've seen that show so many times. But the first time I watched it when it aired, I still remember the characters. They're memorable. Same thing with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Same thing with the original trilogy of Star Wars. Same thing with Pokemon. Same thing with Digimon. Same thing with Halo Infinite. Same thing with Jurassic Park 1, 2, and 3. We don't get that. And we're not really getting that here in 2024. So I'm going to go down the list of films that are confirmed so far to be coming out in 2024 or they already have you guys ready here we go and you tell me one of these films that's original that's not a sequel a prequel or a reboot whether it's live action or animated something that's not part of an established ip already megamind versus the doom syndicate venom 3 dune part 2 despicable me 4 Mufasa, Wicked, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, Furiosa, 
Deadpool 3 slash Deadpool and Wolverine. Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scar Giver. Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. What is it with empires all of a sudden in 2024, by the way? <laughs> Kung Fu Panda 4. Madam Web, that's part of the Sony thing. Craven the Hunter, part of the Sony Spider-Man thing. Garfield, another one. Alien Romulus. Justice League, Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 2 and 3. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Transformers 1. Joker 2. Lord of the Rings, The War of Rohirrim. Gladiator 2, Twisters, Inside Out 2, Moana 2, The Crow, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Descendants, The Rise of Red, Bad Boys 3, Ride or Die, A Quiet Place, Day 1. Quiet Place, Day 1, I'm going to repeat that. That's like 25, 30 movies. There are 52 weeks in a year. That is a lot of movies being being crammed into a one-year time schedule. And none of these are part... All of these are part of an established IP, whether it's prequel, sequel, or reboot. Now, don't get me wrong... Some of these I'm looking forward to. But I want some original stuff. And I have seen trailers for most of these things already. And some of them have already come out. Like, you know, Deadpool. I'm sorry, like um, Rebel Moon Part 2. We've already gotten um, Godzilla and Ghostbusters and Kung Fu Panda and Madam Web. And Justice League Crisis, I thought, a Crisis on Infinite Earth Part 2. But for the most part, these films haven't come out yet. Um, some I'm looking forward to, but I want original new stuff. And I think, like, we need to get back into the time of, the, like, the 90s and early 2000s before, like, 2010, when we had original, fun, and innovative things. Now, don't get me wrong. Prequels, sequels, and reboots... Well, reboots are a problem, in my opinion. But prequels and sequels are fine, but we shouldn't be getting them in, like, droves. Originality is dead. And that is clearly being shown here in 2024 and it's just sad and something needs to change and the only way that's going to change is if these prequel sequels reboots quit making in billions of dollars at the box office because we the consumer are sending the signal to the higher ups at corporates of hollywood saying we like this stuff make more because we're making the money and it's all about money, and that's all they can think about is money. And when original stuff comes out and it's not, you know, breaking even or making a profit, why should they bother? Why should they bother? And it's hard for people with original concepts and ideas because of that to get their stuff greenlit because it's probably just going to be a bomb for the company that makes it. So, I mean, certain original films have come out in the recent 5-10 years. But think about it. it. We really don't get all that much originality anymore. And when it does, it comes and goes and passes faster than the big block, mega blockbuster that's happening. So that's going to do it for this video. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree. Do you guys think we should get more original films? Or are you guys happy with the slate of all these prequel sequels and reboots that we keep getting, especially here in 2024? 2024. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.